a while ago I found out about Terry Davis and the Temple OS operating system that he actually written from scratch like he personally did every single line on the call almost 120,000 lines so in this video today I want to try it out you can find a lot of information about Terry Davis the man is already a legend sadly he passed away in a tragic way the thing about the Temple OS is it's 64-bit non-preemptive multitasking multi-court public domain open source ring one only single address space non-networked pc operating system for recreational programming and there are a lot of things here that we uh, need to let sink in but for starters cooperative multitasking also known as non-preemptive multitasking is a style of computer multitasking in which the operating system never initiates a context switch from running process to another process instead in order to run multiple applications concurrently or in the same time the process voluntarily yield control periodically or when idle or logically blocked so that's one thing that is, i think is quite interesting the other thing of course is this thing here called ring zero and in uh, the computer science hierarchical protection domains often called protection rings are mechanisms to protect the data and functionality from faults by improving fault tolerance and etc and etc and here we have the kernel level we can see most privileges of course the kernel level then we have ring zero and then one two three and in most of the modern operating systems a lot of the things we actually use are out here right and not here here we do have only some system things and etc but this operating system runs everything here like in ring zero Anyway guys, uh, there are some interesting things inside, it has a flight simulator, compiler, kernel. One interesting thing inside is a game in which the player travels to a burning bush to use a high speed stopwatch. Yeah, let's try it out guys. Uh, this is the official webpage, you can by the way download it from here, it's 17 megabytes. Alright, I am using the Oracle Virtual Box Manager, let's try to do this together, so I'm just gonna try to install it. OS. Uh, put to geofram let's hit the start button to power on the vm i've mounted to the temple iso on the virtual cd and i'm going to try to install it to the vm so let me start it i also am using 400 percent scaling and uh, yeah this is it guys public domain operating system fps 30 uh, that's the directory if you answer no you can play with the live cd without installing i want to install it install onto hard drive i'm going to select yes Installing Temple OS. Okay, this is some instructions. Are you installing inside VMware QM or VirtualBox? Uh, yes. It's normal for this to freeze for a moment or two. Press the key. I'm going to press a key here. It's been a while I'm using an interface like this, but I very often use Midnight Commander, which is support of <coughs> Northern Commander on my one of my Linux devices here, and as I have at home. Let's just see. I think it's doing its thing. It's copying all the files so everything written alone by this guy Terry Davis 120,000 lines of code uh, I, I don't know if anybody else did something like that this is uh, just this fact alone is incredible reboot now so I'm gonna hit yes let me remove the optical drive and uh, now we're just gonna use the VDI so I'm gonna press OK I'm gonna try to restart the system hopefully now I'm going to run the already installed system Oracle virtual box now the temple is booting Temple OS bootloader, old boot record drive C drive D. I'm gonna start with one drive C and yep, uncompressing dictionary. So here it is guys. So this is a home screen. So let's check what we do have here. Space is left click, enter is the right click, F1 is apparently help, control M will bring the personal menu, escape is have an exit, shift escape aboard an exit, Windows is pull down the menu. Alright, let's just try Windows. Okay, yep. Um, then we have tongues guys, so works everywhere. If you press F7, we have the God word All right. <laughs> you Just hit this and generate Shift F7 will give us a God passage. So let's just try that as well Wow, and I guess this is just Stuff directly from the Bible F6 is the God so I'm currently I'm not able to map the PC speaker so we're not able to hear some sounds, which is kind of sad. And then we have Shift F6, which is the God tool. The Holy Spirit can pop it to you, press space until it finishes. A random generated graphics here. 
So let's go and press shift escape to kill it and control M to go back. Now I'm back in my home menu. The amazing thing about this is that it has its own compiler, also its own graphic library. And Terry Davis used something called Holy C, which is a combination between C and C++. And it's just so awesome that with 120 lines you get a graphic user interface. Of course, only 640 by 480. You have games and tools and even sprites. Uh, yeah, this is really, really impressive. Like one man only written these guys. Just imagine all the other like big OSs. They have thousands of people working for them. Let's just try to run some games. Uh, scoring press a key. Let's check the main menus here. We have file, save, save as, abort, exit. You have edit, like really all normal comments you would expect. You have insert, text widgets, graphic resource, file name, dear name, God word, God Bible passage, God rule. Then you have program code tools. We have view. So you can load the operating system source code directly here and manipulate it in real time, change it the way you want. We then have fun games. Then we have unfun games. <laughs> Castle Frankenstein. Then we have even non-games, jukebox, some moldy budget, like there are even tools for you to manage your finances. So it, it, it's a real operating system with a lot of things that you can do, just gaining also unprecedented access to your hardware. So of course it can be tricky sometimes. And it's just amazing that one man was just able to do this. Human sim player type, human or simple AI. This looks like an artillery game, but now the AI is playing. Zone out, let's try zone out. I refuse to rip off the original, so this is intentionally crappy and included for demonstration. Write games, don't play them. Yeah, if only I could. Alright. Now remember I told you about After Egypt, there are more things that you can install in Temple OS, supplemental ISO 123. I downloaded one, so now we're gonna try to mount it. I save it as an ISO and I mount it in the optical drive, so now I'm back on my home drive. Let's try to mount it. So T and Z are Atapi CD drives, so I'm gonna go and press T. Let's choose two for Atapi primary ID. Now we need to see if we mounted it correctly. I can see that we have the B, C, D and T, and T is the, apparently the CD that I mounted. How do we enter into the T drive, D, R, V? Now I managed it after the third time, so now I'm inside the T drive. Now let's check what we have in uh, T drive. All right, those are all the uh, directories. Now I can use the mouse to go to sub one games. All right, and now I'm inside, guys. I will now go inside the After Egypt um, folder. This is it guys, after Egypt. God, we're gonna die, trust me. And you can see this is generated with sprites, I think, so even 3D guys. Break camp, right. talk with God, view clouds, hold court, view map, make water. All right, let's go and do battle. Talk with God, yeah. And you can see now I'm on top of the hill and there's some this is just... Press OK to generate a random number from a timer. So, alright, let's just hit OK. And now this is all generated. Numbers, whispers, can protect. Could we give us more tablets so we can have a backup arc? I'll give it up to the <laughs> backup people. So guys, this is really, it's a really strange creation, but I think it's still genius because, again, remember one man written it using his own language, giving full access to the hardware, created a graphical user interface and really built a system that is almost unhackable because it doesn't really have a network connectivity. So this was Temple OS. Anyway, I wanted to try it. Hope that you are enjoying these videos. If you want to get more insights about the technical details, there are plenty of videos about Terry Davis and Temple OS. Stay safe, VST over, Goodbye. and bye.